Hi dear friends, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In my last lectures on optical fibers, I covered what are optical fibers, its structure and working principle, its advantages of uh, using optical fiber communication and so on. So in this lecture I will discuss uh, two very important terms related to optical fibers. These are acceptance angle and numerical aperture. So let's uh, discuss the acceptance angle. So we will see here what is the acceptance angle. Acceptance angle is the maximum angle with the axis of the optical fiber at which uh, light may enter the fiber in order to be propagated through it. Okay, so this is the definition of uh, acceptance angle. So now I will uh, clear this uh, definition of acceptance angle with the help uh, of a diagram that will clear every concept. So let me draw a diagram. What does it mean? So first let me draw the optical fiber. This is the outer layer of the optical fiber. And here is the core, the inner layer of the optical fiber. This is this layer is called as the cladding. Okay. And here is it is known as the this one is known as the core of the optical fiber. Let's say its refractive index is N2 and its refractive index is N1. So now we will understand what is the acceptance angle. Let me draw it first so that you can get it. This is a normal okay. So this light ray is traveling. These are the two rays. So let's say this ray of light is A and this ray of light is B. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. And when look at this, suppose uh, this is the angle theta here. Let's say it is theta 1. As you know, the angles are measured uh, with the normal. And uh, 
we know that uh, this theta 1 needs to be more than the critical angle for this uh, light ray to show total internal reflection because we know that uh, in optical fiber the communication takes place through the total internal reflection so this angle theta 1 this incidence angle of this light ray needs to be more than the critical angle so that it can uh, enter back it can return back to the same medium or core. So this is known as the acceptance cone. Okay. So let's understand what does it mean. Here, uh, let me draw the axis. This is the core axis. So, as this theta 1 increases, the entering light rays are inside the acceptance cone. Okay, as you can understand it, that uh, if I increase this theta 1, okay, with this normal, as this theta 1 increases, this will be something like this, and the light rays will be inside this cone. Okay, and if this theta 1 decreases if it decreases then this light ray okay if this theta 1 decreases then the light ray will be something like this and it will go outside of this cone since we know that uh, theta 1 needs to be greater than this theta critical for internal total internal reflection so it should be more if it is if it is lesser than this then the light rays will go outside of this cone. The similar case is true with this side also as this theta needs to be small. If it is, it, it needs to be more. If it is small, then the light ray will go outside. Suppose if light rays are coming in this direction, let's see it is C light ray and it is going in this direction so if this angle is small it is making a smaller angle then it will go outside so as the theta increases theta 1 increases the entering light rays are inside the acceptance cone but if theta 1 decreases then and becomes less than theta critical okay this critical angle then these light rays are from outside of the acceptance cone so all the light rays need to be confined to the cone while uh, entering into the fiber okay so that the incidence angle at the core cladding interface is more than the critical angle which is the necessary condition for the light rays to propagate through the optical fiber by total internal reflection so this critical half angle of this acceptance cone is the acceptance angle so where is the acceptance angle this angle this is the axis of the core and this angle let's say it is theta a so this theta a angle is the acceptance angle so accept acceptance angle is the conical half angle of this cone so all the light rays must be confined in this cone so it is clear by the name that uh, the light rays that are outside of the acceptance cone will not be accepted by the fiber that's why it is called the acceptance angle now this was uh, the numerical sorry this was the acceptance cone so this is acceptance angle is the conical half angle this is the conical half angle actually so this is the maximum angle okay outside which if it is more than this then the total internal reflection will not take place and it will not propagate and one more thing what will happen to this light ray since for this light ray this is uh, not uh, greater than the critical angle so the total internal reflection will not take place and this will go it will deviate little bit 
but it will go in this medium in the clearing and it will not be totally internally reflected so it is wasted